All right, so today is September 30th, which means I have what? 20 days, 21 days until the wedding. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm cutting out all of the lining pieces for my petals. Um, so I'm cutting out like the backing and then the lining. So this is the lining for it. All I have left to do for the linings are these big 24 inch petals. And then I will have all of the linings done. Um, the backing, I have all of the eight inch and the 10 inch and some of the 15 inch cut out because for the backing, I'm going to have to lay that out and prioritize these big ones because these are gonna be very visible. Um, so I wanna make sure that these are nice and done with the proper backing. Because I'm, I'm cutting it real close. I am, I am cutting it real close with the fabric. I had a, I think I have just under nine yards of the backing. I had a two yard piece and then a like just under seven yard piece. And then I had, and I had just about seven yards of this lining. I have a second lining that I'm going to use for the other big petals. It's a little bit thicker and a little bit stiffer, so hopefully it will help the bottom ones stand out and kind of stick out and hold their shape a little bit more. Because those are the ones that like I'm not going to be able to kind of cheat and tack them as I need to. So I'm going to use this kind of floopy lining fabric for the ones kind of closer to the front where they might need to be a little floopy. Also, it has been a struggle keeping that one out of the workroom because now that she knows that she's not allowed in there, anytime I open the door, she tries to bolt in there because she wants to see why she's not allowed in there. So now I have to work around making sure that Coleman is not paying attention when I'm working on stuff, but also making sure that she's asleep when I'm working on stuff. Which well, she's a cat, so she sleeps a lot, but when she decides that it's crazy pants time, there's not that much I can do to stop her. Also, you see this? You see how this is folded, but it only comes like part of the way up? That's annoying, because I thought that this was going to be wide enough to cut this out. But now I'm going to have to cut it on the fold, which means I'm not going to get as many cut, which also means that I might have to do some, that I might have to do some that have a seam down the middle, which is less than ideal, but I'm going to have to make it work. We'll make it work. Which, if you're curious, this is how I am electing to try to fix this. supposed to be 45 inches so in theory this is supposed to be almost exactly 24 inches wide when it's or oh wait no because that's 48 <sighs> I need six more of those so this is Coleman's shower and luckily he showers at the gym uh, which means that this tub stays dry most of the time, so I can step into it with socks. Which this is the like glitter bug collection fabric, so it's like stupid cheap. So in theory, if I needed to, I could run to Joanne's and just get some more of this. I prefer not to because I have no money right now. But all right, so I'm gonna have to do this on the fold. Should I just try to like fold this a whole bunch of times? Is that gonna be the... I think my grandma just fell asleep with the iPad on her lap again because she keeps sending me very weird messages. Like just, um, she changed my chat theme to celebration. Then she sent me a period and a party emoji. And I don't think she knows she did any of that. She's 90 years old though. There's only so much she can uh, be held responsible for. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this folded, so hopefully I can get six more petals cut out. That might be a little bit ambitious, because I have four from that other fabric and I need six more of this. We're gonna try, we're gonna go for it, we're gonna give it our best shot. I think I'm gonna need to run to Joanne's. I pulled this all the way down here. Yeah, because that doesn't line up. The good news is since this will give me four and I already have two, that gives me six. I'm only gonna need four more. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Which means I only need two yards of it because at that point I could just fold it in half and get one, two, three, four. 
So I'll only need two more yards of either this or the other lining, which it's Joanne's. I'll find, I'll find something I can use over there. All right, let's go. Which I'm also not worried about these being like exact because not all of the petals are going to be perfect because some of them are, basically I stretch them out to get them on the frame and since there's a little bit of elastic that does stretch them out a little bit so they're gonna shrink down. So I'd rather this be a little bit too big. It's gonna work out. All this to say, I'm not worried, I'm not concerned. Oh, this is thick. <laughs> oh, my poor hands. Which, if any sewing shear company is out there and wants to sponsor me, hit me up. That gave me four. I have... No, I have four. I only need two. So then I only need one yard. Even better! Even better! I need to double check that, but... Now the question is, can I trust you enough to leave this out on the table while I run to Joanne's? Because somebody, and I'm not going to say who, but somebody has a very bad habit of jumping up on the table when we're not home. And she knows she's not allowed up on the table. So she does it when we're not home and when we're asleep so she can't get fussed at. She is the smartest dumbass I've ever met. Brat. Aw, oh, there it is. There's your mug shot. I don't really consider myself much of a religious person anymore. Um, but the fact that when I found this fabric, it was exactly what I was looking for. It was all that was left. I took all that was left on the bolt. It was in the clearance section. Um, and it was on so far clearance that no other Joann's had any and it was not even listed on the website. Um, and the fact that the amount that I had was the exact perfect amount of fabric that I needed with like enough big scraps left over that if I, I need to do some magic with some other pieces later I can and I only have to piece together two petals out of 48 that was that was somebody upstairs looking out for me I don't know who but somebody was it is now October 4th with 17 days to go so what I have done is I've gone ahead and I've cut out all of the pieces I need for the petals so I have the um, backing and I have the lining for it. I was able to get um, pretty much all of it cut out and there's only two petals that I have to piece together just with a seam down the middle. Um, so I think my next step is I'm going to go through all of my embroidery um, and all of the tool that I stitched on and I'm going to wet all of that down and get all of that blue ink out. Um, it came off pretty easily in the couple that I've done. I just need to actually sit down and go do all of them. That's gonna be my plan for today. I also wanna get them all nicely photographed. I have a black bed sheet that I might steal just to give a nice background for it. So this way I can have a nice consistent background for archival purposes, I guess. Yep, so now I just need to get all of this somewhere else into a safe spot in the bedroom. I've been covered up with that template that I made. Although my pin tomato has stayed on the table for the past couple of days when it's been unattended, which makes me think that the cat was good and did not jump up on this table. Yeah, but now it's time to go get the embroidery. Because over the next couple of days, I want to get as many petals assembled as I can. I have embroidery and I have overlay for 36 petals out of 48. I think I cut out 50 because I had to just cut out a couple extra. So I still have not yet done the petal with Judy's lace on it, so I need to go do that. Which means I need to rip it off of her dress, which hopefully it is sewn onto her dress because the lace on her hat was glued on. It was a combination of glued on and sewed on, so hopefully it's just sewn onto her dress and then I can actually get it off. And I have just like a couple other ideas still kind of floating around my head that I would like to get some embroidery done. Because I think the one I need the most of is the 15s. I need a lot more 15s done, but I also have the most quantity of 15s and I haven't been doing like the border on those so they go really quickly. So we shall see. We will definitely see. So it has taken me an entire season of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel plus about two and a half hours from last night. Uh, plus I was working on this a little bit before I put the 
the show on, and I've been working on this for a while after I finished the season. So you can round up that I've been unpicking lace from this dress for close to 11 hours by now, and um... <laughs> I'm going a little nuts. I already decided I'm not doing the edging lace on the neckline and the uh, the waist because I'd have to like pick apart real seams to do that and I'm not doing that. I just want to know what was it about the late 80s that all the seamstresses saw the wild and wacky trends that were going on and they said yes this is a timeless classic silhouette everyone is going to want to wear this for the next three or four generations so I'm gonna make sure that every aspect of this dress survives nuclear fallout. Because the seamstress that machine stitched, by the way, machine stitched uh, this lace on and did it before the lining was installed so I can't get to it from within the lining and I'd have to disassemble the whole dress to be able to get to it from the underside to pop the stitches because that would be too easy. The seamstress who sewed on this lace was a little overzealous this just solidifies the fact that I am going to just loosely tack on all of my lace, make it easy. If my hypothetical future children and daughters or daughters-in-law want to use my dress and my lace, they can just have right at it. Just a couple little snips, and they'll be done. And not spend 12 hours on one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight appliques. Eight appliques. That's more than an hour per applique. And I've only stamped myself like four times. Came very close to taking an eye out, but didn't. Although a bride with an eye patch would be fun. Nice glittery, lacy, sparkly, sequiny eye patch. That'd be a sight. Not for me, because I'd be half blind, but you know. I'd only have to do makeup on one half, one eye, and save me a lot of time. And the whole reason I need to do this is so that I can get this huge dress and the box out of the way so that I can stage my dress, which is what I was going to do today, was assemble some of my petals, but um, I didn't think that this would take the entire day. Bye.